Hello, my name is Clive Monomukundu. I'm a Zimbabwean session guitarist and a music producer. Uh, I'm featured on more than 1,000 albums at the moment. And uh, welcome to my Sungura Lead Guitar Tutorial Part 1. Um, a brief history of Sungura. Sungura is one of the most uh, popular music in Zimbabwe. Uh, it's an offshoot of uh, DRC Rumba. Uh, if you want to know more about the history, um, you can go to my Sungura Rhythm Guitar Tutorial Part 1. I gave a better detailed uh, history of uh, Sungura music. So today we're going to learn the basics of uh, Sungura lead guitar. Um, Sungura lead guitar, uh, Sungura music is based on uh, one, four, five chord progressions. Uh, I don't remember encountering a Sungura song uh, outside that chord pro pro progression. So it's, it's usually one, four, one, five. Like for example, in the key of C, that would be C, F, C, and G. Uh, now what happens is uh, you create melodies and rhythms around um, those three chords. So there isn't a place where you are going to play uh, the chords um, strumming the way you do in rock music, R&B or other styles of music. But you create melodies around um, the chord progression. And um, there are some intervals that are used a lot in Sungura music. Um, for example, the thirds in the key of C. These are what we call thirds. And um, sixth as well are used. Um, these are the sixths. Um, and then to a lesser extent, um, you also use uh, fourths. And then uh, there are other guitarists, uh, the likes of the late, uh, like the late John Chibadura. They used to like to play eights a lot, and uh, these are what we call eights. So we're going to start uh, the lesson on thirds, whose thirds are the most um, used in um, in Sungura music. Um, I'm going to play a melody and demonstrate how I came up with that melody. Um, to suit uh, Sungura music. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play, the, there are two, mainly two ways of uh, playing the thirds. It's either you can play them together like this, or you can play them as single notes. So I'm going to start with the melody playing the thirds uh, together and combining the thirds with, uh, with other melodies. So the melody that I'm going to play is based on these thirds. Okay, I'm going to do it more slowly. You start from there. Then you come here, then then you pull, then so when you go here, this is your G. When you play, that's your C, which is your one. So I'm going to play it um, in the normal tempo. Songs, the nine, I 
think 99% of Songra songs they start with the lead guitar. So uh, typically this is how you start a Songra song. So I'm going to repeat the melody again, first slowly and then in the normal tempo. Then 
string number three, string number one. going up and down the notes and um, doing all the fancy stuff. So that's the difference between lead guitar and rhythm guitar in Songura music. So we will meet again on the next tutorial. Bye-bye. <laughs>